What's up, everybody? Welcome to this episode of Mondays with Marcus, where you start your week off fresh so you can dominate every single day. Thank you for tuning in. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel, leave a like, leave a comment down below. Let's jump into it. What I want to talk about today is COVID-19. We all know what's going on. The world is in a pandemic. I'm in a mall right now, and it is empty. <laughs> Literally, look, look, look at this. Dead, silent. Mind you, the mall I'm in is known for being dead silent as well. It's uh, it's a weird, it's a weird mall. I'll see some of that footage in the in the vlog as well. Mm. Not the best coffee I've had today. Trying to keep ourselves safe as well as others safe by keeping our distance. So I guess it's a good day for me to film here because this mall is always empty anyway. So I don't have to worry about anything. I got nothing but room here. With COVID-19, a lot of people are starting to freak out right now. A lot of people in the world are starting to become in a panic state. And I just want you all to keep one thing in mind. This is out of our this is out of our hands. This is completely out of our hands. There is nothing that we can do right now to speed up the process. People are losing work. People are going on EI, unemployment. Everyone's in the same situation right now. Some people unfortunately have it a little bit, wor have it a little bit worse than others. There's nothing we can do personally about it except what we're doing right now by taking the necessary precautions in order to make sure that we're maintaining our health, keeping our distance from everyone, and also being smart about the situation. <laughs> that just happened. That literally just happened. So since this is out of our hands, there's nothing we can do as of right now except what we are being told to do. And we just have to keep doing that as well. Since the situation is out of our hands, there are other people, there's higher authorities that are working their hardest to deal with this situation right now. So if you are finding yourself to start to become in a panic state, take a minute and think about what's going on. And if you are going to panic, somebody's watching me right now as I'm filming. If you are going to be in a panic state, there's no reason, that's not gonna benefit you whatsoever. When you're in a panic state of mind as well, you're not thinking clearly, you're start gonna becoming, you're gonna start to become slightly more irrational and you're gonna start become, going into more of a fight or flight state of mind. If you're not familiar with fight or flight, what that is, is when your body starts, your body goes into a, 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 certain, a certain way of operating so fight or flight means your 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 body's defending itself to keep you alive it's just a natural instinct that we have when you're in fight or flight you're going to start developing a, a radical heart rate and with this what's going to happen is you're going to elevate your blood pressure your immunity is going to start to decrease as well and this is going to start creating a stressful environment when you start to find yourself becoming more stressed out if you will then take a minute, take a step back, try to evaluate the situation. Why are you stressed out? Are you stressed out because what you are doing is not bettering the situation? Step back, really look at the factors of what's going on. There are multiple techniques that you can do to help you with this. Breathing, for example, is one. So what you can do specifically for breathing to bring that heart rate down and to calm yourself down and calm the mind down as well. But what you would do is you take a big, deep inhale through the nose. You're gonna hold it for about three to five seconds and then exhale. Really? Another thing that you can also do right now, and considering how most of us have a large amount of time on our hands, another way of calming yourself down is keeping yourself busy. Since a lot of us do have quite a bit of time on our hands, pick up a new hobby. Do a full entire clean of your house. You'll see this amazing result of your home and how tidy and clean it is. And let's be honest, that just feels good after too, right? Honestly, try your best to keep yourself busy. You might be going crazy in your head. You might be, you know, just you need to get out and do something. If you can, go for a walk. Keep yourself busy. Go for a walk if you need to get some fresh air. Just maintain your sanity. Sanity. Right here, you, you. What's up? Let's walk and do this. I'm over here. 
Everybody, times of need, we're all in the same situation. It is scary. It's normal to be afraid, not to know what's gonna happen. Fear of the unknown. Be grateful for what you got. Be grateful that you're still here. Be grateful that you have a family and that you're healthy. Everyone's trying their best to deal with the situation accordingly. Accordingly? What kind of word is that? Accordingly. And hey, how you doing? Um, let's try to make it the best we can. <laughs> uh, yeah. Let's try to make it the best we can. There's not Trying to keep our safe, our safe. Jeez. <laughs> oh, God. People that rely on you, even children, younger, young adults. Sorry, if you have. Eh.